welcome to the Women to Win Spotlight of the Week. This week's spotlight is on Anne Milton, the MP for Guildford since 2005. Before becoming an MP, Anne worked as a nurse in palliative care for 25 years. Anne was the first female Deputy Chief Whip for the Conservative Party and currently serves as the Minister for Skills and Apprenticeships. Enjoy the video. I was elected in 2005, having no background whatsoever in politics. I trained as a nurse and worked in the NHS for 25 years. Um, I hadn't even considered being an MP, to be absolutely honest. It wasn't till much later in life, I had a couple of children by that time, been through a divorce, and I thought, what am I going to do for the rest of my time? So um, I just literally turned around to my husband one day and said, do you know, I quite fancy being an MP. And um, interestingly, I went shopping that week and found in a Next Lifestyle magazine, of all places, an article, which I still have, which was entitled How to Be a Conservative MP. And that was my Bible, but I knew nothing and I knew nobody. And what was it you wanted to enter politics to achieve? Um, I, I give talks for charity actually about, you know, how does a nice girl like me get into a career like politics? Um, I think it was, it was just after the 92 election and um, there weren't very many women in politics. And for me, it was about the fact that there weren't very many people who got frontline experience of, well, for me, the NHS. But generally, I don't think there were many, certainly conservative politicians, who got frontline experience of working in the public sector at all. Um, so that was my motivation. Um, I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and as I say, knew nobody. I, I remember going into the conservative office. I was about eight months pregnant at the time with my third child, um, and said to the agent there, this was in Sussex, I'd like to join the Conservative Party, and then he fell off his chair. And so what happened then, once you joined, how did you end up on the Green Benches? Well, it, it's quite a long story, but I, I had this article, you see, which, which led me. I, I realised I needed to get involved. Um, I was living in the village in Sussex at that time. The local branch were really nice, and we had elections coming up. So I went out canvassing for the first time. Uh, then decided, I moved up to Surrey, decided I want to be a councillor. And I have to say, it's a, it's a good route into politics. I learnt loads being a local borough councillor. Um, applied for the council system, went from there. But I think the interesting thing for me is that every stage I, I got to, I was absolutely staggered that I'd got there, really. Um, it was, everything was a welcome surprise to me. And how did you juggle young children with trying to become an MP? Well, yes, I mean, by the time I got, um, I got involved in Surrey, um, when I started thinking about becoming a councillor, I had four children, the youngest of whom was about six weeks old, actually. Um, I think it's complicated, but I don't mind a complicated life. I had a husband who was really behind me. I think that does help. Um, I had my parents nearby, which helped a bit because they helped out with the childcare. But if you really want to do it, you will do it. And... For me, part of wanting to do it was the fact I had four children. You know, I had, I had come from nowhere, as I say, with no political background at all. I knew nobody, and I think I wanted to prove to myself, and in a way prove to my children, that it doesn't matter from where you come, what you've done in your life, anybody can go into politics. And obviously you're the first female Deputy Chief Whip that the Conservative Party has had. From your experience, what would you say to the women who think that this is a man's world and, you know, perhaps it's not right for them? Well, it's only a man's world because there aren't enough women doing it. And so I'd say to any woman out there who's, um, who, for whom politics lights a fire in their belly, get involved and give it a go. I was the first Conservative woman to be Vice-Chamberlain, which is one of the top four jobs in the Whip's office. I'm the first ever of any political party to be female chief whip. Um, you have to break some ceilings on the way up. Uh, but if you've got that fire in your belly, you absolutely can do it. You don't need to have any experience. I'd never spoken in public. I still remember the first speech I made. I've still got on video this first speech I made at conference. I was really learning as I went along. But anybody can do it. Absolutely anybody can do it. 
all he needs is that fire in your belly. 